All right, what's going on, guys? I am currently reading and looking through uh, various responses on CNET about uh, Mollywood, um, a CNET editor's take on the ACTA and Protect IP and all this other crap bullshit laws that make no sense and are written by industry people that, you know, that stifle their business model and make their limp as business models still make fucking sense in a completely different time without adapting and changing. So then you have someone from the RIAA throwing in their two and a half cents. Here's my take on it. IP, copyright, trademark, patents. Trademark, copyright, and patents are IP. According to any business, it's all three of those are part of their IP patent portfolio. IP is bullshit. And quite frankly, I don't think the C a lot of the time the CTO or the uh, Copyright and Trademark Office has any fucking idea what they're approving. I would be more interested to know how many inventions and copyrights are shall we say, conflicting as far as uh, what they do and what they're for. Now, for me, it's three separate instances. You have trademark. Trademark is for branding, branding, images, word association with company, person. Not hard to fucking figure out what the hell trademark stands for. Copyright. Copyright in a digital world. Yeah. Um, time to update it. Let the consumers, let people know what their rights are. Creative Commons. Just an idea. Try it out. Might work. Might, might make copyright a little more, make a little more fucking sense to people who generically don't fucking care. Patents, well, okay, patents are, I'm not going to get into the technology side of that, but patents are for innovation and inventions and blah, blah, blah. Three separate instances of three completely separate ideas cannot be rolled into one and called something it is not. Intellectual property. It's a word association game. It's lying through your teeth. It's, it really was what it boils down to. It, there is no such thing as IP. The only thing is patents, trademarks, and copyright. Which one you roll into. And that's what it boils down to for me. Someone like Trent Reznor has the best set. You want to... Why work for somebody like a record company where they lend you money to make a CD? It's fine. Out of that $20 CD, you make 80 cents. And out of that 80 cents, all that goes back to the record company to pay for the tax and the engineering and the post-processing of said CD. Well, okay. So how do you make money? Oh, wait. You're an indentured servant. Essentially. You're a commodity to those record companies, to those execs. So the question becomes, is how far are they going to go after the record sales into your merchandising, your touring? How much are they going to go into that? Because that's really where artists make their money, is touring and merchandising. You know, Trent Reznor knows you get out of that business model. Because why? Because the business model is broken because of concepts like IP. Adapt, change, or die. So it boils down to. It. So, as far as companies that are struggling with, you know, IP and copyright laws and trying to figure out where to go, it's three separate instances. Do not fall into the name association game of IP. Ask them if it's trademark. Ask them if it's patents. Ask them if it's copyright. Learn what the artist wants. Learn what X, Y, or Z person wants. You know, learn. Learn, learn. And at the end of the day, you'll be a lot better off knowing what it is that IP law is so flawed for. So you guys know what to do. Rate it, subscribe it. Peace.